The passage suggests that which of the following could help remedy the problem described in the final sentence, which is lines 14 through 17. So let's read that really quickly. It says, consequently, both the public and scientific community have been misled by widespread dissemination of sensational but weakly founded hypotheses. So what could correct this? Well, we go back to the passage, and it seems, it says here, that this confusion, this is line number eight, has been exacerbated or made worse by a paucity, which means a shortage of serious attempts to synthesize and evaluate available data on the details of avian and dinosaur evolution. So hey, we need to come in here and we need to have more attempts to look here, to closely look here at the available data. And that gets, brings us to answer choice B is one of the answers, which is a close examination of available data. Now, what else does he say? He says, well, too often, this is line number 11 of the job of summarizing current knowledge of these subjects has fallen to well-meaning but naive lay authors or reporters. What lay means is non-experts. So we're going to look here at answer choice A, an article written by a biologist, ah, the expert for the general public summarizing current theories about avian and dinosaur evolution. That's what we need to clean it up or clear up the confusion, and there are our two answers.